Yeah, I had to reset it. I don't know why it's been happening uh, lately. I thought it was related to League of Legends because it always happened after uh, League of Legends uh, match. But something with OBS, it like crashes apparently for me and I don't know why. It only happened since I got this new computer, which is a way, way better computer than my old one. But for some reason on this machine, it is, uh, it is way less reliable. I don't understand. And it's very, very frustrating because I went from like a $1,200 PC to like a $3,000 one. And now it runs like shit when I stream and I don't understand. I went from like a 2080 to a 3090. I went from a 5700 series on the CPU to a 7900 uh, so, like, I went up, like, a lot. This computer is way, way better. And, like, nothing happens on my computer. My computer doesn't, like, lock up or anything. It's just, like, OBS crashes and League of Legends will freeze. Uh, like, when when League sw when you finish a game of League, it swaps from, like, the game to the client. And that swapping process will, like, hitch. Like, there'll be a visual hitch for, like, a hundredth of a millisecond. It's just, like... And then it he keeps going smooth. And in that little tiny, uh, the OBS will crash sometimes, not every time. So I don't know what the deal is with that. Um, but Mo, uh, you gave me a good hint, but I, I don't don't want, don't go through don't go through them all. So like a, a post and into this. So a hundred being guaranteed here, and a post is like the first uh, card. Um, I believe that will be all the assistance that I would like. Uh, don't go don't go too much further. Don't go too much further. Oh, just got an interview set up for Friday for the job where I live and I don't have to move for it. Um, that is not the one you wanted though, right? It's still a good job, but it's not the one you were shooting for, right? You waiting to hear back on that one still? Is that correct? They're both pretty sweet, but I know you got a preference for one, correct? Okay, sweet. Awesome, awesome. All right. So, in this case, let's put that there, if we're gonna do the, the old whirly-durly. Then... But yeah, Mo, I totally stole this from you. Pew! 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 Maybe, maybe pushing this button is what crashed it. I don't know. But I, I like that. I like that a lot, so... And before you even got here, I was saying I stole that from you. All right. This has a chase up front. This has a chase on the back end. Probably don't want the chases touching each other. I uh, probably want something in between them. Uh, that something could be this. Okay. So there's that set up. And then we can chase into... Um, boop, boop, boop. Okay, so turn one, turn two, turn three. Or, sorry. Yeah, turn one, turn two, turn... Three, turn four, turn five. Hey, that gets us the escape plan on five. I think that's what we needed. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, and then six. Yeah, so we needed that on turn five because they're ahead of us. So one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, all right. So that gets us the, the shield on turn five. Yes, okay, so that gets us the shield in five, uh, and then... Does it make sense to hit the hunter becomes hunter and then turn around? I think it might make sense to just turn around right away, because we're not trying to kill them, we're trying to survive. Have I tried this orientation yet? I want the other, because I've done it. Oh, oh, gotcha, gotcha. You're like, I just like that familiarity. What's uh if I hit this key here? Uh task manager. Yeah, it's like that's that is weird. Why was it at 100% use before I started monitoring and then it went down? That makes me It's a brand new computer. There's no way I got like a, a crypto miner running in the background, right? Is it, but that's kind of that's kind of what that, that that's that's what that makes me think of. Anyways, I'm just going to put this over in the corner. Uh, this side. I'll put it over here. Uh, okay. Paint. 
we have tried something similar to this, very similar to this at the start. This was one of our first runs. Uh, let's take a screenshot of this and give it a go. Right? Yeah. 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 We're skipping on this guy for a very long time. I think I'm okay with that. I think I'm okay with that. Alright, okay, so we... They do something, we do nothing. And they do something, we do nothing, but we turn around. And they do something, we hit them and chase. And to gain some key... Oh shit, I'm not gonna have... Oh... No, this is why I didn't do this before. I'm not gonna have the uh, I'm not gonna have the chi on the on the reverse play. Whoops, whoops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This doesn't work. I already know. I forgot about mana. And it's gonna turn around, and then it's gonna go. We don't have enough. Yeah, we're, we're screwed here. What if? Alright, I got this. I know what to do. I got it solved. 100%. Get the post actions to trigger faster. Alright, and that's the last hit. Okay, okay, alright. So, what if we do this? Um, and now we're coming through on the front end. Oh, not that. This. We'll go up here. Uh, so if we go like this, we got, um... Nothing, turn around, we hit this, turn around, hit this. So that gets us to our eight that we need for the first pass. Once we get to it, once we're at our eight, um, we can chase into that. What if the great spirit What if we do this? Oh, now we're cooking, right? Cuz we go get some chi, speed up. Oh, yeah, oh, 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 hold up. We're, we might be cooking with some fire here. Get some chi. Chase. Chase. Get more chi. Do nothing. Turn around, chase into more chi, chase, and we're off. And we still have the Great Spirit next to strike twice, effectively. Then our escape plan is super far behind, though. We need the we need the we need the post action on this guy way 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 faster because this is gonna be one, two, three, four, five. Six. Yeah, 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 this puts escape plan too far away. That puts escape plan way too far away. Oh, damn. One, two, three, four, five. Six. That, this is way too slow. Nothing. One, two, three into this. One. So long as these three cards are effectively together, I think we're okay. This has them effectively together in a really weird way. I don't think that's I don't think that's the play. If we Key, chase, so one, two, three. Four, five. What if what if the drag moon and C is the is the trap card? What if that's the trap card?
Oh, wait. No, strike twice isn't next to... Uh, ah, no. Ah, that's not it. I'm pretty sure that we've got to have strike twice next to both the main cards. Because if it's not next to this max HP, then we're not going to gain enough. How much max HP are they getting per turn? Because they're getting an insane amount, right? The next card will trigger twice. Play the self card, play direction. So, like, this is weird to me. Because, it, it, like, the first time, it basically means this isn't real. The next card will trigger twice. Let you just go, like, straight through it. What's the point of that? Does it give you... Like, so it gives you two continuances of increased damage? Is that is that the point? And then on the next time... The next time through it says the next card triggers twice on strike twice, saying the next card triggers twice. Does this actually trigger... Does that make this trigger four times? Is that how that works? There's no way that's how that works, right? You don't think the point of this one is to stall on them on... Oh, no. Well, if that's the case, hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, ah, oh, God, you suck. All right, uh, give up game, give up, uh, back. There is no next one on this, on this uh, endless vitality. This one could be the fire burned out is my next one. Oh uh, yeah, that might be a stall one. Yeah, cause, all right, let's go back. It's a party in here. It always is, Dusty. Dusty D. Wait, hold up. Wrong one. Back, back, back. Yeah. I was doing in this fight out. Wait. Wait, what? I was doing post post strike. Oh my god. Oh my god. How did that even happen? Because if you go back on the VOD, I read this. I read this intro. How did that happen? I read this intro when Goober was like, hey, read the intro. It's very important. How did that happen? Dude. I need a VOD review of my last stream. Hold up. What in the hell just happened? This is the... This is... It's already been an hour. <laughs> Doesn't look like it. Or this is the post action I want. Is that good? How did this happen? I gotta know. We're looking right at it. All right. Be the winner. Okay, so this. Okay, so the goal here is to stall out. If you can deal with all the attacks from your enemy, you can also win the game by just adding HP and. Max Do I not click start challenge here? After I take a nice refreshing drink of my sparkling water. Awesome. All right, so we're just gonna try to survive. Uh, core cards for this one continue. Whenever you get one key, add two HP. I do keep swapping back and forth. I assume that's just a heal. I mean, Max, keep meaning to say chi, chase, but I got dumb Western uh, brain. Post action heal. So these are pretty cool. The, I did learn from one of the previous challenges the post action. Come on, action go chase. faster! Not the first time you see the card. Um, oh my god, dude, this, this was stupid as hell. Dude. Oh, I got distracted. Went off, did this, came back. Oh no! Oh, <laughs> the fucking embarrassment! Oh my god! All right. Oh my god! Oh. Yeah, I know how to do that. Oh yeah, Mo, I know how to do that one. I fucking oh my god! Dude, I'm. I was. <sighs> yeah, so I, I've been taking uh, like little screenshots. Of uh, of what I've of my attempts because I think this is really cool and see this is untitled because I made a new one Right. I made a new one. Uh, I've got this is my attempts for that one whenever I was trying to do that one um, uh, Brain yeah, this is that was hep four, right? 
Yeah, don't save that. I got super lucky on this one because I was trying, I was trying to like mess around with like killing them with the post action thing, and I, I thought I, I for some reason forgot that this that continuous only plays once, and so I was trying to just keep playing the single card over and over again, and so I tried that here. And I was like, oh, that almost killed them, and it moved me over one. Let me just put the big attack right there. And then they died. It, like, this one I got lucky on. I 100% lucked into this answer. I, oh, my God. Okay, I'm going to go up the corner of shame. This is my shame corner. Uh, and I don't know how I'm so gifted. All right, uh, continuous. Whenever you get one key, G, damn it, G, uh, add four HP. Whenever you get one, add three. Dude, I, I'm so fucking. That's been a goddamn hour. <laughs> Main the cat girl hero because you like to stretch. Do I like them? Do I like them? Do I really like them? I don't know, man. I, I don't know. Oh my God. I don't know. Uh, I'm, uh. <sighs> okay. Kegel is busted having destiny damage on even numbers. Having, having destiny damage. No, that just means you can tank a round or two. <sighs> I am so sad. <laughs> I don't even know. It's sad is not the word. It's definitely embarrassed. De uh, okay, all right. What are we doing here? This is the stall out one, I've learned. Uh, I'm just going to throw these up for the time being. It's just a little bit easier to read, I think, whenever they're all up here. Uh, and then we'll figure it out from there. <sighs> okay, if we're gonna stall this chi this double HP has got to come after a strike twice. That's pretty obvious. Uh, these chases a chance need to come after uh, the lake, so we'll do the lake. Uh, both players add three chi. Um, this is going to add more to something. The star power doesn't matter for this particular build. This might take too long to do double no turn at the start. Uh, let's look at our opponent here. Is greater or equal to three chase? Why is it? Why doesn't it just say chase? If you get three here, how can it not be three? Explain it to me. Uh, since I got all the cards moved out of the way, I'll come back down. All right, so turn one. Oh, oh, he's gonna give me four chi right away. How nice! All right, so turn one, turn two is over here 10% chance to apply four stacks of flaw which is guaranteed the flaw take an extra 40th attack damage uh hmm hmm all right so turn one turn two turn three on my turn three is when I want to shield or have guard or whatever. Do we have any of that? No, not really. Let's do it like this. He gives us, okay, so he gets a hexagram. I don't. So we're going to get the hexagram here uh, and then we can chase into this and then we can chase into this so we just go like brum, 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 straight straight on through break on through to the other side we've already got the uh chi required to just do that right this is where you have the chi let's just do it right away no nah, because then we're not healing we're just up in our max HP. That might be okay. That might be okay.
Hmm. Um, wait, wait, what? An upgraded version? Because it's the final upgrade, the original is only one. Oh, on the lake. Yeah. So he's going to give us the four we need, and we can just, like, instantly blitz that. Although I'm not 100% sure that's uh, that's the, the move here. I do like the chases to speed things up. Whenever you get Winky, add four HP. This is, uh, that's going to... She, damn it. Ah. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I want to do this because it's weird, okay? I feel like this is like a bigger brain move where you have to go look at your opponents in order to know you can do this. So I'm just going to assume that because it's trickier, uh, it is the uh, it's it's the correct play. It's probably not. Let's go. Let's run it. Uh, this is uh, this is attempt number one. <clears throat> Be silly. And then we got the, the hex, which uh, covers those. And we don't have any other use for the hex. Right? Oh, hex also blocks a ailment which would be their flaw stacks. Ooh. Wait. It blocks their flaw. But does it does it counter if we already if we if we gain it after for each snack of hexgram we can make one random effect to get the best result and the random probability is one. The stack of hexgram will remove one stack for each trigger of this effect. Oh, oh, I'm thinking hexproof. I'm thinking hexproof. I don't know why I'm thinking that. My bad. Uh, okay. If propied, if this comes way later, yeah, I think it's fine. Let's try. Let's say we're gonna try it like this. We're gonna try it like this. An upgraded version. D did I have uh? A better chance of something. Oh, they hit us pretty hard on the turn one. That heal was actually put to use. Oh yeah, I waited way too long. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. It took way too long. All right, we'll move it around. We'll move it around. That's fine. That's fine. I wanted. I. W I could say I did the thing. I used my opponent's chi to my advantage. Alright, uh, so let's go the uh, smarter play of... We need hexagrams to make this chase. Maybe, maybe we just don't need to worry about that. Maybe, maybe we don't need to worry about that. There. We're not gaining any chi in all this until here. This doesn't feel as uh, as crafty. This doesn't feel as crafty. I gotta say, I do really appreciate it whenever the game makes them different versions, unlike these dragonflies, because like I might accidentally combine these dragonflies and then cry. I've ran into that before. All right, let's see how we go. We're just doing nothing. We're just chilling. Do we die right away? Are we dead before we can do the big card? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I assumed as much. I did not think that was going to be the answer. So I need to be speedy. Um, is this any faster? I assume it's not. Being entirely honest. One, two, three, four, five. What was it before? One, two, three. Oh, no, before it was like turn four. Turn four was too slow. One, two, three, four. And we were, we were dead before then. Okay, so <laughs> this is way too slow. <laughs> uh, we can do, um... We can do this. This feels... Bad. This is almost what we had at the get-go. The only change here is, like, uh... What was... 
No, this is the only change from our first run, was these two. No. That. That's our only change from our first attempt. Our opponent's first card. Hexagram is greater than or equal to three. Chase. Well, I mean, he's going for. Oh, yeah, just that is being upgraded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's. Okay, so it's one, then it's still three. It stays at three the entire time. Gotcha. Okay. Feel like. A one, or sorry, one, two, three. All right, so this puts a big heal before the five thunders, which is pretty good. And then after that, we just like chase around and we stall out. Okay. All right, I, I, I feel pretty confident in this one. Oh my God, dude, I'm still flustered oh yeah you want a bunch of hexagrammy stuff I want a bunch of hexagrammy stuff the flaw went away when I healed why does flaw dissipate oh no 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 oops Oops. I got chases touching each other. You can't have chases touching each other. It loses one snack per turn. Good to know. I didn't realize that. Alright. Run it back. It's pretty much the same thing, but I moved those around. Alright. That could be the difference. I believe... Hey, we survived the hit. Oh, what the hell? We did not survive that hit. Do I gotta take like a a mid a mid turn little stop here? Is that what the deal is? I uh I don't I don't think that's the I don't think that's the play. Oh, what if that's the play? Uh, wait, how did that go? When did we die exactly? I think we died here. I don't think we got to the, we didn't get to the propitious omen. Right, so that it's so that means if we do this, we die in the same spot. So we would swap that. Yeah. And if we did this, it's effectively the same. There's like no change here. If the uses a hexagram. And 3D, your largest stack. Chi, hexagram, star power. Um, sure. Why not? Turn one, turn two, turn three. Where was this originally? This was here? It's also important. Oh, 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 oh. We got to think about the fact that uh, these uh, continuouses go away. So this is going to chase into a into a chase there in the in the long run, which I don't think we want. 
So that means it is better. It's not insignificant to put this up front. It'll matter a lot on the future turns. All right, so one, two, three, four. We get our we get our second mini heal off on turn four. All right, let's do it. And pew pew. Survive. And we chase into a mini heal. Now we survive. And we just set up. Yeah. And now we're good. Easy. I had it first time every time. They keep almost killing me. Edge of the seat gaming. All right. Well, our Mac, our, our HP keeps getting to a higher total as time goes on. So that was a, that was difficult. These were the iterations that we went through. I assume that seeing the pe the people smack each other's faces is of less entertainment once it's been figured out that it, that it was done. So we pretty quickly locked on to the lake being up front. I, from the get-go. This was just a mistake. I didn't think this would be it because it seems too, like, obvious. All right. I was like, <laughs> am I counting my eggs before they hatch? All right. Uh... <laughs> So the main thing was between these last three runs, excluding this, it was like there was like four attempts before we got it right. Uh, it was ex so the lessons here, folks, the lesson, the take home from this is just chase early for the funsies because you might as well. And don't don't double chase and then uh, sometimes it's better to take your heal a little early Even if it's not as strong as it could be like it's better to do this a little bit early instead of like continue to ramp up for it Because we could have played another continuous which we did above it to make it even stronger But that's not important and just being able to get get past it get through it was what was important All right, that took way longer than all of the other challenges by a significant amount Let's uh, let's lose a game. All right, first ranked game ever. I went ahead and took. I think it was Mo's suggestion uh, to to just buy level five. Uh, so I did that. Um, oh, this is on practice. Yeah, I was losing to some medium bots, which makes me feel like I shouldn't play ranked <laughs> if I'm losing to medium bots. But hey, here we go. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Don't worry about it. Five Elements Alliance. Oh, it's gone. Okay, so are you gonna... Yeah, by level five is just so you have all your level up options available instead of grinding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so the cloud hit's super good. Uh, we might take that. We'll go ahead and flop this. No, we don't want that. Flop that. Uh, we don't want that. Flop it. Uh, cloud hits okay. It's an average of eight, but this is uh, 10, 15 uh, divided by two. Uh, seven and a half average, so it's a little bit worse. Move that there. All right, cool. We'll just go. Bada bing, bada boom. Oh no, we didn't get the uh, we didn't get the cloud hit. Rough. Oh, that was a bad roll. That was a bad roll. So our average card here, yeah, is not so hot. Not so hot. We didn't get the uh, the starting cloud sword, but it's okay. It's whatever. That card turns into an average of eight, uh, just after the first rotation. So now all of our cards average eight damage. Or an eight HP difference. 
Assuming that they hit the shield. Which they only hit it for three. Uh, instead of hitting it for the full four. Which is not good. It's gonna be close! Oh my god, we did it! Alright. <laughs> Hell yeah! Oh, uh, no, I didn't go back to the bottom. <gasps> Alright, back up to the corner. Back to the shame corner. Alright, so I picked up the Formation Master, so I'm gonna play that. Just like the puzzles. Yeah, you gotta get that timing down. All right, so we go here, go there. Uh, continuous to add three more attack, win attacks, and apply smash effect. This would be good if we were going with like the multi attack, but we're not, so uh, I don't really care too much about it. Uh, Thunder Sword is not a Cloud Sword. Ooh, 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 the level up on this is what, three? Uh, yeah, three. So this is effectively 12 damage on a card, but it doesn't come around again. Wait, what? Oh, wait, what? Yeah, these are two different things. All right, so this is effectively eight damage, but then you don't see the card again. Um, I don't want to combine these. I don't think I'm going to combine those, so we're going to move it on. Uh, move it, move it, move it. No, you bitch. All right, easy. Never didn't have it. All right, uh, this guy always beats me. His cards just hit so hard in the early game. It might not beat me this time, though. Oh, as I die. So, that one we might have actually won had we had this up here. So, the three more attack, I think it would go like... Take advantage on those three cards. The one HP left. Eh, that bastard. That's always one HP. All right. I don't really don't want the keys or chi on that. So, ooh, if you played a continuous card, make an additional two attack. This card is pretty good too because it averages eight. But I mean, all of our cards are averaging eight right now. So, uh, we'll leave our options open. Awesome. That pairs really well with that. Um, I'll cycle this card. Oh, sick. Don't mind if I do. Oh, they were waiting on me. Oh my gosh. The ranked people are always going to be waiting on me. So now that these cards are averaging like... Or those cards are 11. So I like the, uh, I like the continuous cards because they're only played once. It's being played for 12, and then it's going away. It's getting out of there. So on the second rotation, if we make it to it, which we did, uh, we're already hitting for nine right away. Continuous two times. At the end of each of your turn, apply one stack of decreased attack to your opponent. So they get two stacks of decreased attack. Seems pretty good. Um, one key continuous, add one key. This thing... <clears throat> this thing is super strong. But so, like, I would... I'm tempted to grab this and then just try to, like... Like just leave it on the on the burner, and if we get the, the passive, the continuous that makes these cheaper, then we can grab it and like shift into it. Um, because I mean it's a twenty damage card. I don't know. None of these like really jump out at me, uh, so I should probably take like just the one card now. But I'm gonna grab this for now. Um, all right, so we need another card. What if we do that? I haven't tried using two of those. Oh, holy shit. Uh, that's, uh, that's a little insane. We got a breakthrough ready, but, uh, we're chilling on it. Oh my god. Wow. We're playing mini deck. We just want a, a tiny deck. Alright. So that's nine on the first rotation. Interesting that he didn't have that continuous as his first card. Why didn't he do that? It was weird to me. You beat him. Your deck was better before. You fallen off, nerd. All right, <clears throat> let's stop make let's stop antagonizing the scary people, before they beat me up. Uh, get that level up. That's pretty good. Now it's a twelve card, which is more than those elevens. Uh, we're not quite to the. Uh, the other stage yet. What? 
Another one? Another one? All right, that's pretty sick. Um, who are we up against? This guy. Uh, next attack ignores defense. 13 attacks. So on our turn two. We have our defense up. <laughs> I don't think that's a good play. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, no. Ah, ah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What's our turn? Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're gonna put it here. So we get we get the armor on the second rotation. If the match goes that long. It's not going to go that long. <laughs> oh, they didn't have that card there when I looked last. All right, that does not update. That is the last known cards. They are very different from the current cards. Ouch. All right, so it's 21. So we'd have to pitch four cards and then we'd have two cards left. We could do that. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, I want to keep that. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's, uh, let's not do that. Yet. Aha! That's why I didn't do that yet. Um. Yeah, I don't like that card. Wait, what? Oh, those are two different. All right. Uh, let's trash, 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 breakthrough, draw one cloud sword. At the beginning, gain a key. Oh yeah, let's do that one. Uh, breakthrough. At the beginning, gain another one? Draw two unrestrained? Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, I, I'm, I want the two unrestrained. I want the two unrestrained. All right. Uh, 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 uh. uh the side job here is few, f uh, the, f the far right one. Um, the, the, the last one that you can get. The fundamentalist feudal foundation? Oh my god. <laughs> Two chi though. We'd have two chi at the start of a turn. I gotta pick. Uh, yeah, understand. Oh no! We had a slot still open. I thought I got that sword up there. My bad. I thought I got my sword up. Rip. Let's see if we lose by six. Deals 11 and you never see the card again. That's pretty sweet. Oh, yeah. Grass is grass and I'm a lawnmower. <laughs> oh, dude, I'm doing a terrible job at the buttons. I forgot about the buttons. I forgot about the buttons. I'll bow down before the mighty Mo. Master of buttons. I don't, I don't know how to use the buttons. All right. Uh, uh, continue this. All cards have attack will make an additional five attack. So that's 10 damage. It's not that good. Um, we don't want this for sure. Oh, see, we got We got to wait. What? What? Yeah. We have this, this thing banked for us. And I think that the cloud sword goes with that. Ten defense. If you've played a continuous card, gain three stacks of hex proof. What do those do when they level up? Three? So that's 15 damage per card now? Uh that's way more than this. That's still a respectable amount of damage. So I think that's a good upgrade. Five attacks. When this card is attacking ignore defense. Okay. That's a that's a cloud sword? I've never seen that one. 
They must have got that from like a, a bonus pack or something. Oh, yeah, that was close. Wasn't even close. I mean, look at look at how much life I have. Ah, oh, the button, that button, it haunts me at night. It sits there laughing at me. Do we have touch earth? We do have touch earth. Oh, we got it up front even. What are you doing up front? Eh, swap that. Uh, can we level up nine. Three, four, five, six, seven. No, we can't level up this turn, so. If you ever play continuous card, then add six max HP. No thanks. Cloud Sword, regard. This is effectively 11. No thanks. Continuous four times at the end, so effectively 12. No thanks. Two times at the beginning of your turn, add two chi. So this is. That is four chi. In addition to our free two chi, we're not using any chi right now. It's a complete waste. This gives us a bunch of chi and gives a lot of damage. Uh, all right, so we're not going to go into the unrestrained swords. That's not happening. We'll go ahead and eat those. Uh, and then we're, we might pivot into the giant coon spirit sword because we've already got that on reserve. Uh, and that's pretty pretty big deal. What does this do when it levels up? Right now it's at 11. When it levels up, it's going to be uh, 14. So it's a plus three damage. And dropping this guy in is eight, which is under... That's the same. It's the same, same. Oh, that's also <gasps> sword intent too is actually gonna be more okay all right no we, we could we, our deck could be better right here i could combine uh two of these sword fletch and then add in that sword intent uh this could be better right now if we lose by like five uh i think i think i could have actually won we'll see oh oh, oh no no Oh, man. I could have won that. Cloud Sword 7. Cloud Hit. For every successful Cloud Sword, gain a bunch of Chi. Oh, my God. Oh, and these are out of order? Oh, my God. All right. So, let's fix this nonsense. So, that goes there. Uh, this goes here. Swap that. All right. That would have won us if we had it like this on the last one. I get, I get, uh, I'm getting real stressed out. Um, wait, and that would have won it for us. Holy shit. There's a lot of ways we could have won that last one. So now is where I get really stressed because I feel like, I feel like I've got what it takes to pivot, but I don't know how to play the spirit sword build. I've never looked into it, but I think, I think we have what it takes to run it. Oh, this is a cloud sword. Oh yeah, this one gives us a bunch of chi. It only hits for seven though. And right now we don't have a chi source. We could eat a card and then that would level us up. Hmm. Swap those spots because I think we want to sit right here. In the purple one, we get the chase swords. So I could have I could have started reserving my uh, cycles, my exchanges here. So that sword intent is gonna play well with the uh, the bonus damage on that. Oh, so close, but not quite. Oh, wait, are they out of juice? Oh, they, no, they weren't. They juked me out. They hyped me up. No, I, I am not on the first job. I'm on the, the last job. Fail, bro. No! No fail, bro. All right. Break on through to the other side. Uh, Cultivation plus two. At the beginning of the battle, add one sword of intent. Cultivation two, max HP two. Exchange seven. Exchange card chance limited to five. I don't think I like that one. When the next destiny is exhausted. Keep, yeah, all right. We'll buy our turn to mirror ultimate. All right, so now we got this. We already gave up on this guy, but look, so we got, I think we've got chances. We've got options. You'll reduce your opponent's chi. That seems busted. Like you could just ruin somebody with that.
All right. Continuous four times. We got eight chi off of the spirit formation. We've got to be able to play a spirit build. Just doing that, I think, is going to be pretty big. Because this is effectively 20. Oh, man. No, I think that is huge right there. That's probably worth the change. Uh, although, this is 15 damage, and this is 12 damage. So, we reduced the deck's damage by 27. But it's 27 over a lot of turns. And... So, I think we lost 7 damage in that exchange, but we sped the deck up. And I think there's a lot to be said about just being fast. Bam. Beatty. Hopefully he hits us here. If he doesn't hit us here, then it's bad. Oh, he hit us there. See, we used all of our armor. That was perfect. Calculated. Precision. Big brainage. Buttons remembered. And that's how big of a brain that, that play was. Uh, this guy's not falling off towards the end of his deck. Uh Oh Oh man this is close This is a nail biter Holy shit No off by four. Oh my god was there something Was Was there an order Did, Could we have won that Was it possible I don't think it was Dude I, I already got a fully upgrade to one of you How many of you do I need Five attack, add two attack for each chi. Oh my god. All right. Add two attack for each chi. It's free. This adds a lot of chi. Do I swap? We'll throw in the chats if we if we swap or not. Throw it in there. Throw it in there. Be like, no, be sane, person. Don't do it. Or be like, yeah, 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 yeah. Add one sword and sin for each point of key up to eight. Holy shit. Uh. I want to keep that. Ooh. Ooh. We need the, we need the reduction of the cost. I think that's a purple card. All right, all right, all right. We don't get a swap this turn. There's not enough time. But with two of these... Oh, we, we got a position for it. <clears throat> it's gonna happen. And we didn't get any of the chase cloud swords yet. What is this? Holy crap, this is a lot of text. If the card... Oh, I didn't swap out. <sighs> If the card in the previous slot has overcome interactions of five elements with the card in the next slot, the active then activate the five elements of the card in the next. What does that even mean? I know they got like a, a wheel of abilities. It's probably something to do with that. Right, we got to keep in mind before we swap that Chi is a real thing. <gasps> By two. I, we're getting robbed. All right, we have to. That's key. That's Chi plus two. Is there anything else with Chi plus two? No. We can't swap until we get... Oh my god, it's another one. What happens when these combine? It's a, oh, okay. That's a pretty big deal. Oh my god, it's another one. Alright, well in that case, we can combine that. I don't think we're going to use Burst Sword. Uh, a Cycle.
Did we just lose by making this change? Let's find out. Oh man, the buttons. I will learn. All right. All right, so I was a little weak there. We didn't have enough. Uh, we didn't have enough chi built up yet. They've got armor pin. My worst nightmare. No sword intent, so that was pretty weak. Oh, there's a double chase there. All right, we gotta we gotta fix that. Oh, we did it. All right, we gotta we gotta start eating some cards. Uh, chase, chase, chase that. Okay, so we can. Uh, hmm. Let's start eating some cards. Let's get the get the level up. Ooh. Oh, this needs to be used instead of that. Um. Okay. Breakthrough. What's our life at? We're in the middle. For one incarnation, Spring Tea gives us a level up on something. Incarnation phase fortunes. I'm pretty tempted to just take it because it's it's one of the fortune cards. Sure. Exchange, draw a secret enchantment card. Sure. Four attack, make an additional attack for each chi. Cloud hit, four. Make an additional attack for each chi. Holy shit. Holy shit. That's massive. All right, so chase, chase, chase. Previous sword formation? Do we have any sword formations? No, we don't. I hope we don't die here. Oh. All right, we're going to go back to the corner, I think. Because I keep forgetting the buttons. In the corner, I'm at least out of the way. I'll try to be better. I'll do better. Oh, the, the chat didn't... The chat didn't link whenever... Uh, I missed how much damage that was, but judging by him being low life and me being high life, I think it was a good hit. Why did that hit for three? Oh, because it's two extra. Okay. Key plus two. Attack plus one. Ooh. -hoo. We can do that instead of that. Um, this might actually be better here. Oh, that's, uh, that's just, oh. feels bad cycling one of these. Oh, we should have cycled this. Hey, there's the mirror's edge for that. Oh, yes, continuous. The spirit sword co cost one less. Great. Oh, that is super good. Now I think we combine those and then put this back up here. I think that's a pretty huge deal. Retrigger previous sword formation. Again, we don't have any of those. Oh, <gasps> Centerbird spirit sword formation. 
Oh my god. How do we how do we get this in? Oh, we just don't need that. Cause now this will be zero. And we'll have two chi. Four chi. Three chi. Whereas before we'd have two, four. I think this works out. Not going to work. Known translation error. No! <laughs> you... Why? <laughs> Damn it. Well, now I don't want to play no more. <laughs> Weapons of mass destruction. What a name. Appreciate you coming in saying, hey. All right, is it these babies? No. <laughs> but on you, of course, not on me. For me, it's this baby. Damn it. All right, all right. Uh, inspiration sword. A, uh, steals chi. Seems pretty great. No, adds sword and That seems pretty great. Deals full damage to the opponents before the chase. Seems pretty risky. Yeah, we'll just draw a card. Continues two times at the beginning. All right, so first off, before we forget... First things first, I'm the realist. Let's put this back up there. And we should swap that. Uh, and then get rid of this before I get mad again. All right. Ooh. First card slot is continuous. Then retrigger. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> There's no way this doesn't work. <laughs> There's no way that doesn't work. <laughs> uh, we need to eat some cards to get some room. Um, oh, we got that. Last cards add four. Yeah, this adds some chi. Oh, we can combine those. Oh, then it adds three. Yeah, I know. Continuous four times. At the beginning of each ear step, add one. Or add, uh, add two. So that keeps triggering. Cloud hit nine is pretty big. The offering screen that popped up with four options, you skip the fourth. Oh! Well, damn it. <laughs> cloud hit for each successful cloud sword played before this one. Well, that would have been good with the previous build. Three, two times four. There's. That's tempting. Mm, mm, I, I don't know. I, I've got sentimental value on these things. What, who are we up against? Oh, it's this person again. We almost beat him last time. Yeah. Nine tiger. Ooh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got a... Uh, we got one for this? No, we don't. Because it, it was already upgraded. Okay. Sweet. All right. I just need to get faster at cycling and doing stuff. Oh, man. All right. Now, re-trigger. And now these should be free. So we're at three right now? Yeah, and we're still at three. Yeah! Wait, that was a pretty weak hit. At one attack? It's only one attack? Does this thing level up? <laughs> can I look at the- Oh, you can look at the level ups in a fight! Oh, okay. Alright, that card seems a little weak. We've reevaluated our picks. It gets even cheaper. I didn't consider that. Oh, yeah, that card feels super weak. <laughs> Bam! We have no, like... <laughs> We're doing, like, a multi-strike, and we've got zero, uh... <laughs> this doesn't fit in our bed deck at all. Uh, it's fine, it's fine, everything's fine. Don't look too closely. All right. You can level up. You're still worthless. Um. <laughs> All right, it's fine. Five attack and two attack for each. Well, at least put it there. Um. Yeah, yeah, and because we want the we want a bunch of chi before that. No, you don't. We, do we? Nah, it's fine. You know, 
Sure, whatever. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to think too hard about it. I got to start rolling some... <gasps> Cloud hit. Mm, stacks of increased attack. All right, all right, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine, don't look at it. That levels up. If we don't pay attention, Egret is the key payoff card before you hit Darman. Egret is the key. Egret is the key payoff card before you hit Darman. Darman, 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 Darman. Darman's not a thing we have. I assume. Thunder Sword, get out of here. Health Sword Necessity, get out of here. Clouds Dance Rhythm, get out of here. Key adds one key every turn. Probably oh, this? Is this what you're saying? Is that what we need? I was assuming we didn't need that. Oh, we got another one of these. Oh, there's no room for it. All right. It's an attack card. Okay, cool. I assumed as much. I didn't get a read what that last one was. Uh... Oh, gosh. He's building up for the Uber Goober Super Slam. Let's... His sword, his intent. All right, yeah, so we probably want that uh, chi sword up front. Oh, we survived? What? That was it? Oh man, your, your attack's a little weak. It's an attack card, your opponent's card. Exhaust key, add five attack for each point exhausted. I don't have enough chi. Mirror formation, skip the next one card. If you ever played a continuous card, then chase. Oh boy. Is that what we want? I'm not sure. I honestly don't know. Because then, then we're not really generating any chi, which feels terrible. I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to do with my hands. You think that's fine? Spirit sword? This is... We're on the spirit... This is a free 16. Dude, I think that seems way better. We're just taking the free 16. Yeah, because that, that thing seems super weak. And then it chases into here. So now we're like chasing every damn turn. All right, yeah, we're not, we don't gotta worry about that. Fence, don't gotta worry about that. Continue two times 12 damage, don't gotta worry about that. When you play, nope. You get secret scales if you generate more key than you spend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Where'd that go? This thing, yeah. This thing can get really good. And we do, we're just generating free chi, but we're only generating like one right now with the current build. So like, spear swords, I don't know if like, oh, level up. Oh, that's pretty big. Yeah, we're basically not even using any chi right now. We've cheated the chi. We've cheated. Extremely suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. I mean, this thing basically says for each chi plus four attack. Bam. Bam, bam. What? He lived with one? Oh, no. He went down to 28. Never mind. He's got a lot of life left. We got another one of those rocks, yeah? All right. So now this can combine with... Where'd he go? Wait. Oh, or 12 attack is down here. Because, I mean, these are just better. The giant swords are just better. All right, we've got too much shit in the way. Oh, man, that's a good card. Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, we got another one of those. 
See, this is gonna generate eight. All right, we're not using we're we're not using those things. All right. Um. Roll. Roll. Ooh. 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 <gasps> oh damn. Ah, uh, I don't need this anymore. Uh, do that. Chase. Uh. Yeah. Chase. 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 Yeah. Chase. 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 Into this card, which does nothing. This doesn't have to be. This doesn't have to be this. Okay. Mirror skips. Yeah, yeah. So we're skipping over the cloud sword here. Alright, let's see how much we generate now. I mean, these two are just carrying us, I think. Just that intro is really strong. So we're only at two on the first rotation on that. Uh, we're not making any extra, so that's kind of a problem. Because those still cost mana. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We've, we fell off. Whoops! 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 Get out of here, nerd! Alright, you... <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Have you done the challenges? I've done some of them. Reddit XD. Holy shit. That's a name. It's like the original Reddit. That's a good good name. If defense is bigger than zero, then this is free. Skip. That seems really good. Oh, we, we got two echo formations. Retrigger it and upgrade it. What if it's all the way upgraded? You have Mara skipping over the key generator. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, what if, what if we brought this back? Then, all the swords are free, we just sit there with a constant six? You think that we need the key, need that first? Alright, hold on, we're gonna just start rolling some things. We'll fix it later, which is a very bold strategy. We'll fix it later. We'll fix it later. We got time. We got time. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. There's plenty of time on the clock that's ticking down. 15. Uh, don't worry about it. All right, maybe we do need that. 15. It's pretty damn big. That's almost big enough that I'm fine with just doing that. And then we don't need it. Oh, bam. Ooh, sweet. Wait, no, that doesn't make... What the hell am I thinking? I don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know what I was saying. <laughs> that was a bad move. That was that was a, a walk. We took a step backwards. <clears throat> you see, we saved one extra chi for this secret sword spirit hit. Yeah, that was the strategy there for the first time. Um, it's very critical because, um, somebody help me. I can't talk out of it, my ass this much. Hey, he's got my sword. We're not generating any chi though, so. That's a payoff for a build, but I don't think it's a payoff for our build. I think our build is just, we're playing dumb stuff that shouldn't be possible. Wait, we won! What? It's over! It inherently ch Oh yeah, true, true, true. Well... If I do say that was uh, the easiest game I've ever played, because I normally get last. <laughs> Woo! Alright. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stumbled in first place with random swords. Yeah, you don't. Damn, I fucked up a super sick fire build. 
Like Monty Python. Yeah, yeah. I'm just like walking around here. I'm like, what? What is this stuff? Hey, that was a, that was a fun one. That was a cool one. All right. Uh, how do you? What's? Where's the match history? So I can show you guys how terrible I am. It's somewhere around here. I've seen this before. I know it exists. Match history is real. I thought it was here. Here? If I keep clicking on the things I've already clicked on, then it will change. We got the Knights of Say- Ah! What is going on? <laughs> yeah. We're very similar to the Knights of Knee. What? Those buttons stay the same. It's, not, it's definitely not in the explore area. Character? I am. Immortal Market? <laughs> is it where I buy things? Oh my god, it's probably when I click on my profile picture. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is me against some bots. These were medium bots. I got seventh against medium bots, all right? That was pretty, pretty rough. And we got fourth once though, hey? So, that means if this is how I play against medium bots, that must have been some easy bots. Not to be rude, but it is what it is. Um, there's somewhere. Hide player names, yes. Current server. Wait, what? I can auto select? After this operation, the login interface will be reloaded. Are you sure you want to continue? What is it, cancel on that? Huh. All right, so the, the benefit of the hidden player names is uh, I I don't know names. I am I am terrible with names. Uh, but that will put them as numbers, and I am acceptable with numbers. So I'll be, oh, it's number three. I played against number three before. Uh, what are we doing? What time is it? It's 9.50? That's about... We could do another... We could either try... Nah, let's play another match. Alright. Uh, so the, the side job that I have is... Uh, uh, cards? Is this one. The Formation Master. Which some of you are probably already knew because you know how you know this game way better than me, but I did that because I like these two cards. Uh, that, was, that was the only reason. Um, and you get to in the sect of the spirit. We look at like. Oh wait, so this is the story of a girl. All right, so this is the first slot is continuous retrigger it. Yeah, the first slot is continuous retrigger the effect. I wanted to pair that with, um, what did I want to pair that with? I might have forgotten the entire reason why I purchased this. Uh... I thought it was a purple card. I thought there was a purple continuous gain a stupid... I thought this Moonwater was continuous. Son of a bitch. I thought this had continuous on it. So, that was... Th that... <sighs> that was the reason. That's why we bought it. I've been playing with the Musician. Yeah. And then you get that, that Chase card. So, here... If we go to this section and then we look at this one. Nope. No, no, no. We look at this one. Nope. We look at this one, which I didn't mark down. I started doing that on the second, the second go around. <laughs> yeah, it's something like... This number, right? I think it's something like this. I like this. I wanted to play this. I don't know. I don't remember. It's something along these lines. Because then, like these, like train down, and I, for some reason, I guess this is all the this is all the main sect. This isn't even anything from any of the jobs. It's something like that. 
Oh, uh, challenge failed. No, I want to. I want continue. When I exit, I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to redo the thing. Give up. Next, next, next. Back, back, back. Go, go to the game. We got one more in us. We're never gonna be able to top that. What was I thinking of? There's uh, no, it was the video. I think it was the video you sent me. That's why I wanted it. Yeah, I did get the brocade. I got the brocade rat when I was playing against the bots, uh, but I was not able to abuse it. That's what it was. You re-triggered the brocade over and over again. That's what it was. Our brocade. I, I have no idea. What are words? Um, this is, this is not looking very good. Uh, 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 this is quite possibly looking awful. Okay. Uh, ooh, e, uh, e, uh, e, ooh, e. Oh shit, dude. <laughs> Whatever. We, we take the loss. Uh, I needed a sword that gave key. If I give up on this game. Does it kick me out of the rank game, or does it give up on this match that we know we're gonna lose? They somehow also have three attack swords. I'm in the rank where I belong, and it feels good to be among others, other people like me. Other goobers. Other skippy goobers, if you will. Okay. So, I was trying to go for this. Because I thought that the cards lined up for it. But now... Now we probably just go for the cloud stuff. Hmm... Anchichi? Yeah, yeah. I'm not planning on running that card. Uh, I was... Fuck. I thought I had more time. Alright, this is, this is a real rad start. This is the, that poo brand I talked about last stream. It's after, it's after uh, 9.30ish, around 10. Definitely starts happening. It's harder to process as fast. But yeah, I was trying to trying to swap into Cloud. Also, I think I got accustomed to the uh, the later turns. Yeah, way more time, which makes sense because there's a lot more going on. But I got accustomed to that. It's fine. These early rounds don't matter. We will be victorious. I promise. We'll just trash these now, so I so I stop playing with them. All right, Cloud attack. Uh, we got. That up there, we got uh, this guy. Get out of here. We got this up here. This there, there. Eight, eight, yada yada. That's there. Ooh, another one of these. Bada bing, bada boom. Slap that in there. All right, so this is twelve damage. Nine, eight, eight, and twelve. So we'll go ahead and put this up here. Uh, it's probably in a better spot, anyways. Hey, we got another one there, and uh, we're probably not gonna use either of these, but we're less likely to use that one. Ooh, and we got the we got the chi. All right, sweet. That uh, seems a lot better from our previous ones. Who are we up against? You, you go nothing, a 10 attack, a 6 attack, and 8 attack. So I think 10. And he's probably going to go first. Ah, uh, it's not going to work out. No matter what. Because he's going first. If we were going first, it would work out what I started to do. Because we're just going to take our beats. Block that pretty well. I wonder why... Oh, no, man. Oh, one HP. Never lucky. 
Ooh, we got the unrestrained sword thing. Ooh, we got a cloud sword here. Ooh. Ooh, I do like pivoting. All right, we'll take the cloud sword. Break on through to the other side. Break on through. Break on through. Probably shouldn't have uh, done that. <laughs> it's another 12. So this is three times three, so that's, you know, nine. And then this is 12 direct. Four damage your opponent. Or up against this guy. He's looking pretty, pretty solid. One, two, three. His turn three, our turn two. Oh, I'm glad that didn't just drop on it. I was trying to push everything over. Uh, Cause then our block would line up with his first major attack. This advice is for late game. The next time you see Maru formation, you can leave the slot after it on your board completely empty so that it makes it clear inside your brain that Maru formation is doing. Makes sense. Seems like pretty good advice. Yet. We got our first victory! <clears throat> Although we should definitely have a lot more. <laughs> Um, we're not quite up there yet. Um, boom, boom. Boom. Ooh. Boom. Okay. Um, oh, this is not a cloud fence. This looks like that and has the same numbers on it. Very frustrating. There we go. So this is nine damage and then it stays out. This is only six. So this lowers our uh, damage. I'd rather the one time of nine and keep this out. Yeah. 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 It'll just take, just takes a little bit of time. So you keep playing and seeing the cards. Yeah. That's why that's the main reason why I haven't tried a new character yet is because uh, I don't want to pick a character that's in one of the other sects. I know there are other, uh, there are other characters in the sect. I can look into those. But this guy's got like a reroll ability, which I think is just like super good. I can't like really mess that up. And uh, like, I think this character is really well designed to like have a, he's definitely got a low floor. It's pretty hard to mess this guy up. Maybe his ceiling isn't as high as some of the other champs, but um, there's just like no way I'm gonna epically fail this guy. Oh, man, let's go. And we push the button. Now I'm never gonna push the button again, but we push the button. Nine attack. Do I just go ahead and push this guy up to 10? That might be the play. Or at 12. Then we gotta find us something to fill in the back slot though. Um. Ooh, those can combine too. We can combine that there, put that there. Roll. If his last card was upgraded, he would've had you. He is fuming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that was that was so close. It was uh very lucky. This impact formation, I think, has potential. I think that there's got to be something there that like maybe I'm just not seeing. So that's effectively the same. This going up to a like I could put a I could have put a nine here, which is plus three, but I moved this up plus three. So that that's that was a lateral move. It stayed exactly the same. So uh, there's no point. Uh, screw it. Breakthrough. Uh, sword formation, right? That's what we're using. Yeah. And then breakthrough. Sword intent. Exchange cards. Destiny 18. Cloud hit can be triggered for free. We'll take the sword sword formation. Did it go through? The reason why I wanted that is because uh, I think that the cards you draw afterwards are like of your current level. But I'm not 100% on that. I might have just made a big dum dumb by like forcing that uh, level up. See, they're using it. I think this card has potential. Four times you gain defense. Three more attack and smash.
This card is terrible. It's only 60. It's their their cards are bad. Their cards are real bad. Uh, no cloud swords here. I don't think we need chi in this build. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I fume a lot. Enraged usually is the last res uh, resort to sell a card if you are unlucky with your rolls. Yeah, that makes sense. Earth, Earth, evil sword. Is there an evil sword line I haven't seen? What does this turn into? It's like five, four, hmm. and five, and two defense for each chi. We go spirit sword. See, the sword formation is the deck that I want to play because it looks so fun. You like build up a huge defense and then you like kill them. Unrestrained is evil. Oh, I hadn't, I hadn't connected the dots. I don't, I don't do that. All right, so this hits for eight and ignores the defense, so it's clearly better than the six. Um, next one time attack, so it makes the twelve ignore it. Uh, oh, dude. Oh man, we gotta, we gotta move some of these swords around. Nah, they're, they're relatively fine. Is there aesthetic? True. The <laughs> big swirly monsters. Oh, hey, I'm back. Haha, -ha, I never forget the button. If we had a, if we had like a count of how many times I forget the button, we might get to triple digits in a single stream. It's okay. I'm new to this. I'm bitchy Hansel. I wish that was just the deal eight damage. That's why, yeah. That's why I don't go for defense. I'm, I've got that Pokemon mentality. So this says for each unrestrained sword. So the evil sword is not going to trigger that though. All right, let's uh, let's do this number first. Let's put that there. You come back to the end. Oh, that's sixteen. That's pretty huge. Uh, we'll put you here. So this hits for eight, and then this hits for eight. Oh yeah, because these didn't get leveled up. Uh, yep, seems fine to me. I don't know what I'm really rolling. Actually, I'm kind of tempted. Uh, hold on, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We got seven, and we're like nine off. We can combine there. That goes to eight. Yeah. So what I'm thinking is, so this wait, this goes from eight to eleven. So that's a plus three. This goes from eight to six, which is a minus two. So this is just a net one damage to do that. All right. I really want to get something a little bit better. Nine. Uh, nine's better than nine's better than that. Uh, so I kind of want to save as many of my re rolls as I can, but I feel like I'm in a position where I need to get stronger. So I don't know, because I want to save the re rolls for the dark purple stage, because the dark purple stage has the uh, has the cloud sword chase. And the Cloud Sword gain Sword Intent. I feel like the Sword Intent is the better late game version of Cloud Sword, and I don't have any of that. Because the, the Cloud Swords in the Golden Stage are like two times four chase if you deal damage. Things like that. I looked at the card art and thought, Eva! <laughs> All right, uh, at the beginning of your turn, apply one type of internal energy. Injury. Uh, la, la, la. One, two, three, four, five, six. We can keep like three. This game does a bunch of chi. All right, that's sell, sell, sell. 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 Breakthrough. Draw one unrestrained card. Lose nine destiny, draw two level two cards. Containing sword foundation. Oh my gosh. Um. Draw one unrestrained sword. At the beginning of the battle, it counts as one time unrestrained sword has been used. Holy shit. We can't we can't pivot. We're not doing it. We're not pivoting. All right, uh, now we can get rid of, uh, this goes here. We could possibly start dropping these. Uh, oh, get my free sword. 
We could possibly start dropping some of these. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, it's a late game only build. Because you don't... There is an unrestrained sword in the second set, but it's pretty shitty. It's like five damage plus two, right? And that's pretty bad. Oh! Wait, what? Why do you keep a sword in scent? Oh, because he has pierce. Okay. And nine damage exaxes. Exaxes! Oh, hey, shit. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> uh. Oh, no, we drew another unrestrained sword. Ah! Uh. And this the sword formation, I want this one to work. All right, it's fine, it's, it's, fine. it's whatever. I can't pivot into it if I sell it. All card have attack will make an additional five attack. So this is just... You strike one extra time. I wish you could, like, reorganize this hand down here. Um. Holy shit. That's the third one. Yeah? Alright, so. Alright, alright. I can't pivot if I sell it. That's, uh, that's, the, that's the safest thing to do. Come on. The beginning of your turn gained one stack of attack increase. Uh... Two extra damage would be, so it would be like two, four, six, eight, ten. It would be ten extra damage right here. So, yeah, it's going to be more damage than this. All right. Ooh. Ooh. Um. Ah, uh, th 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 this card, this card, this card. I want to be so good because it's too permanent damage, but it's just like take a turn off. I don't know that I can do that. I don't know. That's. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know. It's way better for the longer fights. It could be in front of the chase, but it's like it's, it's effectively the same. But then we don't get the bonus damage on the chase, so it's not effectively the same. This, uh, this, uh, this is looking a lot weaker now, though, because all these others are like multi-hits. And that guy's not. Th this thing's even a multi-hit. Oh, 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 shit. All right. <laughs> I make it back. That's all that matters. I was there. <sighs> all card attacks make an additional attack, but it only triggers twice. Now it triggers three times. Yeah, it's whatever. Uh, yeah, I don't think that's it. Ooh, we'll, we'll upgrade that. Chi plus three. Wait, is the next form the last one? I think it is. What's this upgrade into? Th oh, that's plus four attack damage. It's not gonna matter. Uh, okay, so we don't have any bonus to anything that utilizes cheat, but I know that there is some that do. So we're gonna keep this cloud sword. Um, we can do that. It's gonna be a slight bonus. Um, this front loads our damage better, which I like doing. Does make us more vulnerable. You got a heavy hit? No, 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 no. Cloud hit. For every successful cloud sword played before this, add four more attack. Dude, I want an avalanche. I haven't seen an avalanche. I've never seen that card. How have I never seen that card? Is that one of the bonus ones too? I don't think it is. Oh yeah, because uh, I remember Mo was searching for avalanche. That is her hero card. Oh, son of a bitch. Not yours, only hers. Ah. Cheater. Having bonus card. Hey, I'm not the last one. Uh. Mm, let's go. Why does this thing have like defense one? They're like, man, this card sucks so bad. Because it does nothing. It's effectively skip your turn. Yeah, well, you know what'll make it better? If we give it one defense and like, yeah, technically that's better. And like, all right, let's do it. I don't think that's going to change much. 
Oh, it's going to make this card so much better. Just give it one defense. Just one. It'll do something. <laughs> Sometimes. I mean, how many games have you won by one life? Oh, a lot. Exactly. It's going to matter. <laughs> uh. That's what happens when you play the safe guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so this is... It's got that sword intent. Which will work really good before the, like, the cloud of necessities. Dun, 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 dun. Alright, um... <laughs> I'm sorry. I apologize for my actions. Um, yeah, we don't want that. Uh, yeah, we don't want that. I'm not going back. Oh, get out of here. Continuous two times. Beginning, increase it. Okay. Does this go to three? It does go to three. That's pretty sick. I don't even know why I looked at it. There's no way I'm not upgrading that. The question is, I could have put in another one, right? I'm not putting in another one, though. Uh, we gotta start thinning, thinning the cards here. All right, I don't think we're gonna go with this. We're definitely not gonna use that. There's a small chance we'll use Chi, but if we gotta sell it, I won't be heartbroken. We never gotta level up this. That's amazing. Oh, we did. It is leveled up. Never mind. I don't know what I'm talking about. Don't do drugs, kids. All right. Uh. <laughs> hey, I'm at the top of the lobby, man. Man, playing ranked is so much easier than playing casual. Casual is like playing against medium bots, and they poop on me. Uh. Oh no. Am I frozen? I'm not frozen. All right. Cool. I have the stream pause on the other screen. Oh shoot! Son of a biscuit eater. The chat thing was disconnected. I might have missed like a whole two messages in YouTube. It happens. I have YouTube viewers sometimes. You don't know me. All right. Um. Okay. And boom. All right. Hey, it's connected. This is taking a minute. Um. Is this what you guys feel like when you actually know how to play the game? You're like, oh my god, these noobs. How do they take the whole clock? I would never run this. I would never rope, okay? I would never do that. <laughs> yeah. You shut up, Goobert! <laughs> Wait. Why did I have sword intent? Oh, yeah, because I, I took that cultivation thing. I started the game with one sword intent. <laughs> Super useful. Give me that one extra damage. I'm so glad I took that passive. It wasn't a mistake. I couldn't have picked like anything else that would be more useful than one damage a turn. Hey, wait, it's the opposite of the defense. You know all the times you die by one life? Actually, that doesn't happen very much. I live by one life a lot, but I think I've only survived by one life like once. All right, wait, <clears throat> sorry. I said the same thing with opposite wordings. My opponents have lived by one life a lot, but I feel like I hardly live by one life. I am so, I, I'm so sad. I eliminated the person doing what I want to do. They're doing... I'm sorry, player three. I feel bad for your opponent. They're forcing sword formation build. They're missing their key cards. What, what card is missing from this? What do they need to make this work? Because I want this to work. Oh, they're missing the thing that says your defense doesn't evaporate. Okay, they're missing that one. And you've been throwing them away. So, okay, hold up. There, somebody, uh, Motif. Motif, is this, is this worth running or is this a trap? Alright, is the gain two HPs per sword played a trap? I feel like it's a trap. I thought it was good and then like I played it and I'm like, eh, is it good? Um. Motif, uh, from the Discord was doing, uh, was doing some, some testing and he said that there is eight cards, eight copies of each card. But what I don't know is if they're shared copies for everyone or not. You just swiped on your married coworker on Tinder. Are you going to be a bro? Or are you just going to like fucking, you just like, not my problem. What? You don't believe they're shared, but no one knows. Yeah. Okay, so you can test it. You can test it 
if a bunch uh, <clears throat> if a bunch of us got in like a practice game uh because you can queue up multiple times she's not using her real name either but verified picks oh uh, well maybe maybe it's a look-alike maybe it's a clone so i'm always looking down at chat because i got chat like down here and my camera's up here how creepy is it gonna be whenever i get the uh uh, the thing set up to where it makes it to where it looks like I'm always looking at the camera. Because then I'll just be like, my, I'll be like, this. It'll look like this all the time. That guy almost killed us. How rude. Rude. He's not dying. Oh no! As a software dev, I believe there's no shared card pool because that is a lot harder of a solution to implement and the game devs can just copy paste the PvE solo mode card RNG mechanic and save time. Yeah, with it being a, a relatively early release, uh, I think you're onto something there. Again, what do you think about the, the Cloud Saita Dharma con uh, passive of gain 2 HP? I'm curious what your thoughts are on that one. I think it might have saved us in that last one. Cool, wait, because that means it's effectively... Actually. Yeah, I'm starting to think that's actually really good. <gasps> I don't think we're ever going to use it. Oh, oh. All right, I need to uh, sell that, sell this, break through. Um, three main cards. Okay. <clears throat> what the hell is this? Lose 10 destiny, draw three level two cards with the card named Sword Virtuoso. I don't know what Sword, Sword Virtuoso is. Exchange cards chance? No, yeah, yeah, we're not doing that. Cultivation plus six. Ooh, actually, maybe. Draw three sec. Yeah, I'm just going to... Oh, oh, no, take the spring tea. I love the spring tea. Um, Cause then we can level this up and then combine it to that to level it up again. Oh uh, yeah. All right, <clears throat> that might not be good. That might've been a bad use of that. <sighs> We're not on sword intent, damn it. We don't need chi for anything. This needs chi. Um, okay, so our weakest card. This is only eleven, or this is a lot, but this is two attack. Oh no, that's way more. All right, so we're gonna take this out, and then we're going to. Where's it at? All right, I'm gonna put that there. Uh, I think this is better. I'm not sold on it. Uh, plus if the card pool is shared, that would require a round trip to the server every time you draw a uh, round- Oh, it definitely requires a round trip. Otherwise, you would just be able to, like, look at it and cheat. Uh, since the game has no lag during the round draw or exchange, I believe there's no shared card pool because there's no round trip server lag. <sighs> Internet's so fast, I, I don't think that it could easily do that. Like, the, the turnover animation could start as soon as you put it there, and then it just does, like, the request. Um, <clears throat> but, yeah, TFT... Uh, Hearthstone Battlegrounds, all those, uh, work like that. Echo Formation. Add one sword intent for each point of chi. Do we want Echo Formation? Because then we can put it here instead, and then we have eight bonus damage. Uh, ooh. Hmm. I want to take that. Let me know what you think. Echo Formation or the, or the, the Healy one. I need to trash some cards just so I have, like, sanity, because there's just too much shit to look at. Mm. I don't consider this a traditional auto-battler. I don't think it would work. I mean, there's also uh, job pools and faction pools. It's just not uh, reasonable. It's not as uh, viable, but... It would be a lot more difficult because, like, all the players could pick the same sect and then, like, just nobody has any cards to play. But that's why I have i don't think it's the case because it's only eight. If it was much more than that, if it was, like, 12, then I think that could be easily the case. Um, But we could do the math uh, because you get, like, only three exchanges a turn, I think, in the early turns and then, like, scales up. 
So the math could be done to calculate how many uh, cards would be required. Savvy. My God. Um. We are not getting ding dongs for chases. If we use the Cloud Sword heal instead at three life per sword, then it's six life per sword. And then we're healing for six, 12 on turns we chase. That healing for 12 on turns we chase is just going to outdo a card. Okay, this guy's going to kill us. Oh, this is not looking good. All right, at least he stopped stacking the internal bleed. Um. Oh, no. Oh, man, that was so close. If only they gave three defense, because two defense, we'd still die. Hey. Uh, actually, I don't think we want this. This is, this is so little effect at this point. It keeps triggering, I know, but this is going to keep triggering that. Um... The next one time that you attack, is that the whole turn or is that just the next like attack card? Um, hmm. I feel so bad rolling that. Ooh. Caught hit, defense plus three, injured, chase. Hmm. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. If we took the thing that said Oh man. Hmm. Oh, if we take the thing that said the cloud hit could trigger right away, we could get rid of the sword. That would be sick. I don't know why I'm keeping that. That's never going to upgrade it. <gasps> It's definitely a lot faster. His one's on eight. That's on six. His stuff is... He's got my exact... Okay, so he's using the sword attack because then he's going to use the other thing. Oh, yeah, he's building up for a final blast here. Nice. <gasps> we lived? Oh, we're not gonna... We're not gonna live again. He... <laughs> third. Despicable. I would never rank third. <sighs> I'm way beyond third. Are you sure you want to edge of this game? Actually, yeah, no, I want to see what he's got. So we can see what I got. Oh, we can't see my cards down here. So what I, I was keeping that intent sword because I was thinking, like, eventually this would turn into intent and then, like, have a large multi-hit here. And then we just drew 
I think it was a large well. I think that was the one X four, and then we like so we hit here for the cloud, uh, ch uh, the cloud hit plus three. All right, let's see what this guy's got going on. He's going with the heal. This stacks up front because this is three right away, instead of like over four turns. But it's still just like less. The key thing is. He's got the passive, so he doesn't have to. Uh, he doesn't have to have a cloud hit on the beginning. He doesn't have to have that that blank sword. That's a pretty big deal. Now that I see how the deck like kind of works towards the end game, so this is a crucial card to make this go through because this is an injured chase. And then we get the sword intent three. I I don't know about this card here. I think that doing two turns off for sword intent is. Uh, is a bit much whenever you're only going to be hitting for tw uh, for tw 25. I think this is his weak point here. That was awesome. That was a lot of fun. I like this game. This game's pretty sick. Wow, we are almost ranked all the way up. Maybe buying the levels to five isn't worth it. Did you get there? So maybe you get there pretty quickly. I guess we did really well because I had played a few games. It not did well, like bombed out seven and eights, and uh, I was still level one after two games, like that. But also they're a lot faster. But I stick around and watch. They can they can give you like some bonus XP if you stick around and watch. Like if you're playing with your friend, right? And so you watch your friend play, and then that would. I guess the problem with that is then like bots would just like queue up, do nothing, AFK, get more points. Ah, it's tough. It's tough. If only there weren't assholes on the internet. Everything would be so much easier. Um, man. I like this game a lot. I need to spend some more time reading in the Discord, but it's a new season in Marvel Snap. So, you know, I got to play a lot of Marvel Snap. Actually, you know what? Actually, factually, wrong button. We got we to gotta flip over. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Yeah, I, uh, at first... I was like, man, that card's not going to be so good for me, for what I've been doing. Because I've been playing a lot of Mr. Negative. <laughs> and uh, turns out, it's actually amazing in Mr. Negative. I literally only have two four drops. I am only running uh, Mr. Negative and Absorbing Man. Those are my only four drops. And that new card is still super good. Sorry for Marvel Snap Talk while we're here in the middle of this game. Uh, my bad. I apologize. People are... If you don't know the game, then, well, too bad. You should. It's free. That's all I got to say. What? You want to fight? If you know board games, um, Smash Up is a very popular board game. And Marvel Snap took Smash Up's four-player co-opness. It is, it is a 1v1 mode of Smash Up. That is what Marvel Snap is, if, uh, if you're familiar with that game. So add one chi for every attack that injured the opponent. The, we what is the massive payoff here because this generates chi and there was another one another cloud sword it was blue right it was light blue this one generates chi what is the big chi payoff for this for that deck this is the one that we drew for each successful Cloud Sword played before this card, gain defense plus three. There's a card that expunges it. Yeah, true. And that might work well. But I thought that this expunge card was designed for the... Um, like, the spirit stuff. Because the spirit stuff generates a lot of chi. And... Uh, I mean, this one's the inspiration sword as well. It's free. If it injures, it generates eight chi. Or sword of ten. Sorry, sorry. This one makes sword of ten off of chi. So this this pairs with it. So you could go like cloud sword, generate like five chi, pretty easily off of this. Play this, generate five sword intent, and then drop this cloud sword leveled up. I don't know. This is probably the best payoff. Check your secret cards. You may have unlocked some. I have. I have. 
So we saw the ape last time. Um, this... <sighs> these secret cards are so insane. Oh, this is a secret card. Yeah, yeah. This, this card is absolutely ridiculous. Make an additional attack for each chi. This is definitely the payoff. But like... It's just uber rare. Divinity phase? What the hell is divinity phase? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I thought so. So this is from the sixth phase? There's no sixth phase. And then we got this uh, This fortune's really good. Opponent loses 15 XP and max HP. I don't think I played this one. Somebody probably played that against me. Because if your opponent plays it against you, you get it unlocked. Oh, wait, there's another one. Yeah, I didn't get this one either. Continuous when your HP is less than half max HP. All card add four attack. Oh, yeah. Alan played this against me. Uh, brocade. Yeah, buddy. So this card's worded weird. After using this card, it will continue to take effect and will not be used again in the same battle round. So you lose four life at the end of the battle. Oh, so it just continue at the end of the battle. I was thinking like each turn that triggered, so I gained like a bunch of cards if it went a bunch of turns, but it's not gonna trigger each turn. It's just saying at the end you get it. And then you use that one thing that's like replay your your first card continuous, and then you take like the the passive of you get a free death. I I feel like my only gripe with this game is a minor one, and I can see some people thinking it as a as a as a boon. I feel like these cards are just pivotal. Like these are so strong that you should just pivot into them, which is fine. But it's probably a skill issue. Pivoting is so fucking hard in this game compared to other auto battlers. It's so fucking hard. All right, Savvy is crying and crying. I gotta let the dog out. I'll be right back. As the door is right here. It's awesome. Savvy is on to something with the with the potty break. It's getting to be that time. Yeah, some of the Chinese streamers have an entire build on their bench. It's a balance. Yeah, yeah. So I uh <clears throat> before playing this game, can you can you watch replays? Is that a thing? Of the of the losses? <laughs> Where the heck was that again? Oh yeah, up here on me. Uh record. I No, you can't. <gasps> Battle Royale replay? That's probably just the the last one. All right, you can't. I uh, I did that. I would keep like, I was I was. You could see it tonight, right? Uh, where I do that. I had like, in fact, we pivoted in one of them, right? Didn't we? Did we pivot in this game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we pivoted off of uh, the cloud swords into the spirit swords here. I do the same thing, and I feel like the cloud sword rush in the early game is not as cohesive for that because you have to spend all your rerolls early. I think. <clears throat> my my speculation is um so like right now i only know the one build right that's it that's that's all i know and i now i kind of understand the spirit build but my speculation for what it is to be like good is to know what like it's like when you play draft and magic if i'm playing draft and magic it's a little bit different cuz you you're reading the the picks but it's like if i see that like the three, three for two with a super awesome passive abilities coming around and white. I'm like, wait, nobody's playing white. I should probably take this card. And if I see another good white card, then I know that no one's on it. And I just go for that. You know, I feel like there's a. Uh... Ah, stop foaming. Maybe there's a little bit of that here where it's like. Um. Say I actually went into the green phase instead of holding off because this strategy is super cheesy. This, this is such a dumb strat. This card is this card in combination 
with not this one. This the, the, literally the first two cards. They're right next to each other. Are so so stupid strong. Uh, and so getting multiples of those is pretty busted. Anyways, I feel like if I went into here and it's like, oh, I got this the, the giant spear sort of 16 damage. Nothing here really looks super good to pivot off of, which is kind of a problem. Where is where is a really good card? Are they just do they just not exist? Maybe that's the problem. Yeah, there's not really any good pivots until like down here. You get like this 2x4 and you're like, oh yeah, that means I should go sword intent. But nothing until here. Or you get this and you're like, oh yeah, I should go unrestrained. I think if they move the unrestrained up to here, it might be busted. Uh, or if they move this float, if they made this like one attack. All right, here, here's my balancing. Here's my here's my 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 thing. If it said one times two, but then the level ups was to two times four. So this would became the middle one. And then the last one is the same. I think like this card becomes the middle and then there's a new shittier version at the start. And then they can throw it up. They can put it in one of these higher ones. So whenever you're like, I'm playing Cloud Sword because it's clearly the best thing to do for a very long time. And then you get that early and you go, oh, hey, wait, maybe I should start uh, gearing up to pivot. Because like it's not until then. Maybe some of the side jobs have better pivots or maybe some of the other sects have better pivots. And obviously I suck at this game comparatively, so I probably should not be like have any say in balancing. <laughs> but like that's just a, a thing that I think uh, would be a little bit better because by when you see like the super you see this, you draw this like almost as soon as you go into purple and you're like, that's nice and all, but like I gotta get like what seven other cards for this? How many is across the top? Nine? Is it nine across the top? Uh let's see here. Explore. I was clicking one of these. Star challenge. I think it's nine, right? I, I should know this. I should count this a long time ago. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's eight. Okay. Yeah. So you get one of those. Like, I got. I, I said the right number, anyways. You gotta get seven other cards. Uh. And so it's a. It's a little rough since it's so late in the game. If it was just like a few turns earlier, I think it would be very good. I did it again. It'd be very viable. I don't think I actually pivot that early. I get it. I get the seed planted with the level up because like it'll be like level up. When you go gold, you get the unfathomed zero sword. And I'm like, oh, shit, that's good. So then I know that's coming up, but I don't like. I mean, you can't you can't pivot until you're in the freaking purple stage. It doesn't matter. The, the good cards aren't there. They just They just don't exist. Yeah, I know that one of the champs uh, has a unrestrained sword that only they have access to. Yeah, uh, this guy's ability to see the extra card, I think, makes up. And then this, oh my gosh, dude, this card is so stupid because, like, you get into the golden phase, and it's like, oh man be super cool if I could like have a level up on something right and you can you can just like you take this passive you start re-rolling if you save some of your re-rolls and then boom you've already got like level two gold cards right out the gate ah so good I feel like that's better than the other uh champs that have like a guaranteed grab on it because to me they're not really pivoting there's more of like just wading through the early game because they know what they're gonna do yeah, but look at the girl next. All right, all right, fine. I haven't looked at the characters. All right, so Yan Jue. Now what do we got here? Draw one card for every 20 Destiny loss. So that's a bonus of four cards. Okay. Decrease two max HP for each attack. Wait, what? Every time I attack, my max HP goes down? It's got to be decreasing your opponent's max HP. That's the only thing that makes sense there. Add one defense for each attack. All right, that's pretty sick. All right. We get, oh, yeah, the avalanche. The avalanche. I know uh, you're both talking about two. So this is the one that Mo is playing. Cloud hit for every cloud sword played before this. Add four more attack. That's so good. That's so good. All right, and it has unrestrained. Oh, 
Oh! This chick has both. If you have used an unrestrained sword chase. Dude, unrestrained getting some chase effects? That's nasty. What is, what's the wording on this guy? Is it the first time or is it every time? Cloud hit effects can be triggered even if there's no cloud sword played first. So it's every time. Holy shit. Oh my God. All right, I need to start taking that. I have not been taking that because I'm like, I'm playing a cloud sword build. I'm clearly going to have cloud swords. It's not, I don't need this. This is a little wasted and passive. But I could go cloud sword chase unrestrained cloud sword chase unrestrained oh that is oh hey there's an arrow key i can just press it right there that seems nutty all right i want that now and the side job form rare sharps for formation basically removes two slots from play basically dude you gotta get pretty lucky right um Card. All right. Uh, fortune. Side job. Formation. Because this this skips. I guess because it skips and chases. It's kind of like two. But I feel like you got to get pretty lucky if you're going to get the Muru. If you're going to get it over there. All right. So. Um, let's see here. There's what? Six. So there's 12 times eight. Up here, you've got 12 times eight. 96. 96 cards. Uh, so this one, it's going to be like 88 cards, something like that. Yeah, 88, 88, and then a little bit less, and then a lot, a lot less. So you've got a lot of cards that come through. And then the side jobs it seem to each add the same amount. And the side jobs are adding 16, 24 cards. So you've got like 88, 24, 108, 112 or so, 100 and something like that. We'll just call it 110. We could lower it a little bit for the average for the later on. You get uh, like on average of like 105 cards per flippity floop. Dude, I want to make an overwolf app for this game. Is there an overwolf app for this game? I don't want to think. I just want to put up the percentages. What are my odds of drawing this card? And go. So with her, you just need a couple unrestrained uh, since she draws one and then mirror formation takes up two slots. Takes one slot itself and skips one slot. True. Yeah, it takes a slot and then it chases into something, which is pretty strong. Yeah, it seems really, 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 really good. Uh, so, what are your thoughts on this one, though? No, Painter. Painter. So. Is it not Painter? So, this exchange draw another side job card above foundation phase. So I assume foundations aren't included. So this is just a redraw. Okay, this card, ask, Dow by paint. Ask by numbers, paint by numbers. So this, when you get paint by numbers here, exchange, draw a current phase sect card. Oh, still, you can, that seems pretty good, right? Cause you can either exchange it in the purple phase to get the unrestrained sword. Or you can exchange it in the gold phase to try to hunt for zero. I mean, all these gold cards are pretty good. Paint is for sex whose own cards are inherently strong and prefer doom rolling. <laughs> I prefer doom roll. I love that. I, I uh, hadn't thought to translate doom scrolling into doom rolling. That's brilliant. I love it. It's mine. I, I coined that. You've never heard it before in your life. It's mine now. <laughs> but like, I mean, since I since I'm ignoring the rest of these so far, from even here, it seems really good. Like this cloud sword thing seems super good. Um, hmm. This is basically. To me, this card basically just says remove a slot from your deck and then add four to your, your attack. Like, you're just like... 
Yeah, it, it just removes a slot. It just says that unrestrained sword attacks him one extra time. Um, which is pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. So you could go like only on the main guy though. You could do something cool. Flash, or you could le go. <laughs> bleep, 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 that's all, folks. You can go zero into this thing, straight into your unrestrained swords, and start doing nonsense. I I wish that there was a. Uh, I, I also want to make like a website, just a basic API or something for these cards, because I want to be able to like, control F chase. Show me all the cards with chase. I want to do that. And then, um, so this is all the star power ones. I feel like these have so much gosh dang power. And every time I play against Alan, he just burns me to death with this one. But this one seems a little bit more like defined in the builds. It's the same. Oh, there's less. There's less in the starting sect for this one. There's one card less. That's kind of important. It's kind of a big deal. All the side cards have the same amount. Yeah, they do. Painter is also strongest for the healer stall build. That are Fulu. Fulu! Oh, Fuluist for the stall build. I assume that's, uh. Yeah, man, the, uh. I saw. I did, like, a little bit of light reading through the Discord, and there was, like, people, like. I saw somebody post something like, I'm not proud, but I did it. And they, uh, they post, like, uh, the healing stall build, or something like that. Made me chuckle. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, guys, guys, guys. I'm trying to be more responsible. It's really difficult because I'm irresponsible, but I'm trying. So I got to at least shut down the stream because there's two suns. These lights are so freaking bright that they blind my, they, they burn my eyes. And so like I, I shut this off and then I just like have to like walk around like this for an hour before I can go to bed. Now, so, uh, but now I was up until 3 a.m. this morning <laughs> and then I had to be in my morning meeting by nine. So, uh, we're going to have to wrap it here. I really do enjoy the discussion and, uh, I look forward to getting a better grasp on this game and maybe being able to relay some of this information that you guys are relaying to me, hopefully to some others, because this game is awesome. And I hope that it flourishes, but I like auto battlers. Uh, I played Hearthstone's one for a good while, probably like six months straight, and that's a long time for me. So, we'll see how this goes. Normally, I just like play League of Legends or Magic, although I haven't played Magic in like two months, or two years, I mean, and I, I'm starting to get that itch again. But then like I fire up Arena, and it's like, do I really want to do this? Right now, it's been a little bit since I played League, and League's new season starts on the 10th that's right the new league of legends season is on the 10th so we're gonna have to fall right back into that teemo jungle and they're eliminate i heard maybe it was just a rumor maybe it was just a lie to me but i heard they're eliminating smurf q and i hope they do that not for my main account but my second account fell into smurf q and it was the god awful worst experience of my life so hopefully they get rid of that it also means that uh smurfs will then be in all of my regular games which is not going to be a good thing so i don't know how i feel about it uh, anyways, thanks for hanging out. We got a raid out. Hold up. We gotta we gotta keep this this ball rolling. That was a good time last time. Uh, we met Mo through that, and that was a. Uh, I normally don't raid out if I'm not hanging out, and I'm definitely I'm definitely not gonna hang out. Um, so hopefully Mo's live again because we've already met them. Um, but maybe not. Let's see. Twitch TV slash. Yeah, let's go to Twitch TV. He is. Smurf Q was an attempt to resolve the Smurf problem. It it, it was, but so uh, here's the problem. I am I, I'm low gold. That's my rank on my main, and it's probably what my rank ought to be is somewhere around low gold. I feel like I'm still better than my my current uh, players and opponents. So I think I think that like where I fall is probably like high gold. It's probably where I fall realistically. Uh, I've never been there though. Gold four is the highest I've ever been. Uh, actually, I got to gold two. I, that's a lie. I got to gold two uh, on on the uh, on my second account. 
and it was just for a little sweet, a little little tiny tippity toop taste, and then I fell to like bottom of gold three, almost a gold four. Um, but like the problem was, to me, with Smurf Q is they put you up against like people of like silver initially, right? Then I win, and so then they put me up against like higher silver, and I win, and instead of putting me into gold. They keep me in silver and go, okay, you're going to play with the other Smurfs now, because fuck you. And it's, wait, what? Why? I'm not trying to, like, it's not like, I get, like, the problem is most people are toxic assholes and they get banned, and so then they make a new account. And so the idea of the Smurf queue is to put all those toxic assholes in a little box, and then they can, they can just play with each other. And then if, like, uh, some challenger guy goes to make a YouTube video, he can go in that box and play with the other assholes. And then, like, if he if he shits on assholes, it's okay. And, like, you got all these assholes and, like, challenger players making YouTube videos in a little box. But it's so easy to get accidentally put into that box that, like, yeah, yeah. Well, the pro it, it's not really that aggressive. If I go, like, 15 win or, I like, out of 15 games, I lose, like, two of them, it's like, yeah, he's smurfing. Put them in there. But it's, like... It, if you actually know the core mechanics of League of Legends, Silver is so freak. You can just single-handedly win it all, all the time, and I was. And so, like, I think that, like, you look at the win ratio that you have to be in to be put in the box is pretty acceptable. But they don't, they don't escalate your rank fast enough to really determine if you deserve to be put in the box. That's, that's my opinion. Because, like, you can just be, like, like, I think I'm honestly just a gold player, and it's like, all right, and you go, and then as soon as it puts me in, I can't win. I get shit on. It's awful. I'm getting screamed at. I'm clearly the worst player in the lobby. I'm just, it, it, it's abysmal. It's a terrible experience. And you got to lose a lot before they're like, all right, let's pull, let's pull them out of the box. And then by then it's like, okay, well now I'm not gaining any LP per win because I just went on like a, a 10 game loss streak. Uh, so I don't know. It has problems. Uh, I don't know if it's good the way it is. I, I don't know what's going to be worse. Uh... It, we might be opening Pandora's box and like as soon as they remove it, it's just gonna be like Holy shit, please give it back <laughs> Like that could happen, right? Uh, but it's hard to know until they do it and it just time will tell time will tell oh, Man, there is only 18 people viewing this game and only 2,000 or well, almost 3,000 followers on this game How to make game more known. Retromancer freaking did a video. I think it's Retromancer. I think that's his name. It's got like a bajillion views. Maybe this is uh maybe this is like a niche um game genre. Retromation. Retromation. I saw that pop up in my uh in my suggested feed. I didn't watch it. Uh I assume it's because Google knows everything. And YouTube's a part of Google, even though I'm not using, even though I'm not using, uh, yeah, I'm using Chrome. Oh, no, I use DuckDuckGo, which removes the Chrome's innate stalking ability. But I have Google Fiber, so all my network still goes through Google. They know everything. <laughs> They're on to me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right, I don't see Mo on. Uh, we'll raid out to Chrome all right, I suspect that that might not be an English name. We'll roll out to T and Savage, who says he knows English in his uh, name. Also, another language. What is NL? T N Savage. We gotta we gotta remember that because the raid feature is leaves leaves some to be desired. Um, <clears throat> Netherlands. Oh, okay. I I know like nothing about the world. I know that one's like northeast from my perspective. Across the pond. T. Yin. Savage. I did Yin T. Savage. <laughs> Boom. All right, let's go say hey. Uh, and hopefully brighten their day. Because, I mean, a raid is awesome at all times. So, let's, uh, let's give them a raid. They get... Thanks again, everybody, for hanging out. Um, Goober, appreciate the info. Mo, if you're still here, thanks for helping me out on that puzzle. Because I was lost and confused. And then it was the wrong puzzle because I clicked on the wrong button. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, anyways, appreciate y'all. Uh, you guys make the make the night fun. So have a good evening. Uh, and we'll be live on Friday. It's a grab bag. What we'll be playing? I kind of want to play. There's there's a lot of like visual novels I just bought that I want to play. And I hate visual novels. It's weird, right? Like I bought Ace Attorney. 
because that game is like got a lot of good reviews and it looks really funny. And then I bought Psycho Pass because I want to watch that TV show so I can play the game and watch the TV show. And then I bought like Dongan Ranpa because the TV show is based on the second game and I really like that story. So I want to play stories one, two, and three. And I got 999 forever because that's also a really good one. I don't know. We'll probably never play any of these because they're visual novels and I hate reading. But there's a chance. I'm just going to float that. All right, bye.